And before we tip off here, it's time to hear from our reporter. Hey, Ali. Well, Brian, the NBA is trying to... That uh, makes sense, Ali. Thanks. And both teams tonight, unafraid to run offense through their bigs, Grant. Talk about the value of being able to do that. Yeah, B.A., you know, it just speaks to how both teams can beat you in multiple ways of playing. I think it can lead to higher percentage looks with the bigs running the offense. You can strike a nice balance between inside and out, which coaches are preaching right now. Looking at the starting five for the Boston Celtics. Brogdon and Brown are on the wings. Then there's Marcus Smart. Then there's Jason Tatum. And it's the closer in at the center position. Here we go. It'll be the Celtics off the tip. Brogdon, the pass to Tatum. Inside. Here's the closer, and the officials whistle a foul on the shot. The bucket is good, and he'll go to the line. That's unblockable unless they can get a bigger man on him. Got to learn your lesson. And you have to think that one advantage this Celtics team has is a deep roster. Lots of quality guys they can assemble different ways. They're pretty adaptable. Shoots. The rebound, Celtics. That's got to frustrate him. He knows he should have made that one. Yeah, you can't make them all, and you for sure you'll want him taking that kind of shot. Now here's Smart. It's stolen, and the ball ends up out of bounds. And they'll keep possession. You know, a versatile bench really is a gift for the Celtics in tough situations. And even a great starting five isn't perfect against every opponent. It's important to have flexibility, and that's something that Boston definitely has. And the step-back jumper is good. One of the more skilled offensive players that is on the floor here tonight. Not an easy fella to hold in check. Outside Brogdon. Tatum from long range. Counted from distance. There's no lack of confidence in Tatum when it comes to his three-point shot. He's looking to do damage from long range on every possession. And just around a minute and a half into this first quarter. From 10 feet away. Oh, plenty of contact on that shot. Officials call the foul, and he'll take two free throws now. The first one falls. Second free throw, no good. Brogdon from outside. The shot, no good. Defended by Brown. Rejected by Brown. He gets it in there. I love this approach. Getting him involved early, and it's already paying off. Well, he's going to just keep going now. That's early confidence for him. Now here's Smart. To the middle. Here's the closer. And he goes up strong with a one-handed jam. <laughs> and this is something he does all too well. Great position for the putback there. And I like how he doesn't think twice about passing it out. Just going right for the slam. Oh, his competitiveness right now is why the teammates love him. Defensively, you have to stay connected to him on the perimeter. Outside Brogdon. Smart outside. Pass to Brogdon. Jacks up a three. That one goes. Now he's one for two. And both teams running long-range plays that are working. Well, both of them looking towards the three-point line. And I like to see that, especially when the results are made buckets. Can't hit the turnaround jumper. The Celtics with the lead. Here's Brown. And the bucket counts. And he is on his way to the line. He'll try to make it a three-point play. Huh. 
about becoming a star before our eyes. Brown's work ethic and desire to be great has transformed him into an elite talent. Guarded by Brogdon. To the inside. It's tipped. Just under three and a half minutes elapsed here in the first quarter. Gone just three for seven here at the start. Shot from the wing. And that one goes. Four for seven for him so far. Two teammates connecting right there. Slick feed. Pass to Brown. Smart right side. Missed inside. He's as surprised as we are. Most nights, that bucket is automatic. Tatum with the block. Tatum makes it easy for his teammates with his defense. He's always a threat to block shots, and he can cover any part of the floor. Now here's Smart. Still getting warmed up offensively. No buckets yet in the game from him. It's stolen by Smart. Now the Celtics on the move. It's Brown on the wing. Knocked away. And he stepped on the line, so they turn it over. And it's time to take another look at that powerful block. And that kind of rejection early on energizes your squad. The coaching staff just loves this kind of hustle. Gone four of ten, shooting the rock in this first quarter. Timeout, timeout. They're searching for a way to score. Yeah, buckets have been very tough to come by. Defended by Smart. It's stolen by Smart. There's a minute 17 left in the first quarter here. Pass to Brogdon. On the wing, Tatum. Here's the closer. Just five to shoot. For three. Tries again. And he lays it up and in. Seven points in the game. A hard work on the offensive glass. You can see the coaching staff rise up and clap for that effort. Guarded by Brogdon. It's good. And he drew contact on the shot, so he will go to the line. A three-point play opportunity. has possession. It's a three-point game. Outside Tatum. Pass to the closer. And another shot. Ooh, he took a hard foul on the shot. So he'll head to the line to shoot a pair. Yeah, and you never want to let shots at the rim go uncontested. And he makes a first. That one goes in. Two from the line that time. Gotten five of 11 shots to go. And he's going for the oop here. Stole it away. Nice job to interrupt the alley-oop attempt. Outside, Brown. Pass to the closer. And it's flushed down. A nice jam. He's really become a better all-around player. Brown's passing continues to evolve. Nice find. With one on the clock. And so it's Boston 
closing out this quarter with a seven-point lead. Their key to consistency has been their dominance. If you're just joining us, we played through one quarter in this one. And a look at how the hustle game has been going for the Celtics. Well, so far they've been immensely aggressive on the defensive side, denying easy shots, and it's made a difference in the game. Well, right away they've been hassling ball handlers, just swarming defense and very active with their hands, looking for any chance to force any kind of turnover. Four on the clock. And so he draws the foul, headed to the line to shoot a pair. Well, Brent, the relationship between players and refs can sometimes seem a little hostile. Does it need to be that way? Well, you and me have our little tiffs, don't we, Brian? So, yes, in order for us to do our best work. Uh, no, I'm kidding. It doesn't have to be that way. But, look, when you're at this level of competition, it's heated, it's intense. Sometimes get outside your board a little bit. And that's when instances like this can happen between a player and a referee. And that goes for both sides. On the court for the Celtics. Second quarter underway. Brogdon and Brown are on the wings. Then there's Jason Tatum. Then there's Marcus Smart. And it's the closer in at the pivot spot. Manning the middle. Shot from 16. It's deflected. Let's check in with our reporter, Allie LaForce. Well, guys, the Celtics are handing the keys to the two Jays, Jason Tatum and Jalen Brown. There have been growing pains and even some question if the pair could coexist. But Brown said, quote, the adversity will help us grow. As long as I'm on the same page with him and he's on the same page with me, we're all good. Brian? Figuring it out, Allie. Thank you. Right wing. Down low. With one on the clock. And down it goes. Jam that one home. Grabs the board and goes right in for the putback. I love it, B.A. Yeah, wanted to close the gap. Makes sense to get aggressive on the glass here. Now here's Brown. Pass to Smart. Back to Brown. Takes a three. No luck on that one. Yeah, you know, he usually makes you pay from that range. Two minutes now played in the second quarter. And the officials will call the illegal screen here. You can get away with one once in a while, but it looked like he wasn't completely set on that pick. Yeah, a quick little lean like that is going to get the ref's attention. Foul call. Back to Smart. Outside Tatum. Perfect night so far. Two for two. The more strength Tatum puts on, the more effective he becomes, especially finishing through contact. And guys, talk about silencing the critics. Tatum made first team All-NBA last year and led the Celtics to their first finals appearance in over a decade. And he's now one for four after that one. The Celtics have got nothing to go out of five attempts so far this quarter. Pass to Brown. And here in the second quarter, about three minutes played. And sly move by Brown to ensure the foul. He won't pass up on a chance to draw one off you. Free throw good. Brown. And both free throws good for Brown. Gone two of four here in the second quarter. Defended by Smart. Oh, a clear foul there on the missed shot. So he'll get a pair at the line. They'll pin that one on Marcus Smart. <laughs> Man, he made sure to get his money's worth on that foul. That one's off. You know, probably the biggest shift for Tatum, his advancement at the defensive end, Grant. Oh, no question, B.A. And that's imperative at the small forward position. Think about it. You have guys like LeBron, Kawhi, KD. Now Jason Tatum is in that elite two-way group as well. And you have to put Jimmy Butler in there as well. Now here's Brown. He's got five. 
Tatum inside. Releases. And there's Brogdon on the assist by Tatum. Brogdon's got five. Well, everything in sync right now for Brogdon. Timeout, timeout. Nice base, good timing, good release. And after spending his first three seasons with the Bucks, Malcolm Brogdon was part of a sign and trade. Just a great move for his career. And here in the second quarter of action, as we approach four minutes played. It's tipped. Here he goes. And Brogdon with the stuff. Brogdon's got a strong handle. Not a quick dribbler or a shifty dribbler, but a strong handle. And busts in there with a nice move. And after that 2018 sign and trade, Malcolm Brogdon got an expanded role, Grant. He really did. I mean, Brogdon becoming more of a ball handler. A chance to shine offensively. His numbers, as a result, have exploded since that deal. And that was the mobile one drive. Low resistance to the finish line. Yeah, he made that drive look easy, but that had a high degree of difficulty. A minute 39 left to play in the first half. Soft touch off the glass. Now, I don't know if you would consider this, but he's got such a nice touch around the rim. Maybe you foul him there. And he lobs it up to the rim. Alley-oop up top. Hammer it home. Look at how Tatum surveys the whole floor. That's how he spots the wide open man. Guarded by Brogdon. And 101 left to play in the second quarter. Six on the shot clock. It's blocked. Now Brown. He's got five. Smart. And a great assist by Brown as that one goes in. And it's a 10-point Boston lead. And we've watched Brown evolve his game. Playmaking has been at the forefront of his development. Defended by Smart. 29 seconds left in the half. Launches a three. Called in by Brown. The Celtics have gotten over 50% of their shots to go. Five for nine in the second. Tatum can't hit. The three ball. Oh, drew the foul and almost hit the three-point bucket. But he'll head to the line for three. Hey, <laughs> nice work attracting the foul from deep. He'll shoot three. And he's good on the first of three. And that one's no good. And he nails the third. And so it's Boston up by a healthy eight points at the end of the period. The flow of the game has favored them in general. But hey, well, for those just tuning in, thanks for being with us. Second half of this game still to play. Shooting about 43% on this one. Bounded by Tatum. Out to the wing. Shoots. Rebound Boston. And for Boston, Brogdon and Brown are on the wings. Then there's Marcus Smart. Then there's Jason Tatum. And it's the closer. In at the five. Roaming the paint. Mm, slams it down with two hands. Man, they're really getting aggressive now. Defended by Brown. Lays it up and banks it in. 
And here's the mobile one drive. A great move to get right to the cup. You know, that's the kind of play that can really start a run. He knows a little momentum can get them back even. And for the Celtics, Brogdon and Brown are on the wings. Then there's Jason Tatum. Then there's Marcus Smart. And it's the closer in at the five down low. Tipped away. And it goes out of bounds. That one off Brogdon. Yeah, that's a tough one. An experienced player in the pro game shouldn't be making that pass. And that's how you defend. He wasn't showing any mercy with that swat. Yeah, good offense comes from great defense. This lead is only getting stronger with plays like that. To the paint. Nice assist and nice finish. Solid play all the way around. He's got five. Assertive move. You can tell the game's heating up a bit. Pass to Brown. Let's the three fly. The shot that time, not on target. <laughs> That's exactly how you have to defend him on the perimeter. Can't allow any space. Down to five on the shot clock. From deep. Rebounded by the Celtics. Tatum's got four rebounds now. First one falls for him. Williams has checked in for Jason Tatum. And both free throws good for Brown. Gotten two of four shots to go since the break. Shot clock at six. Over to the wing. No good that time. And Boston going the other way now. Well, we're into the third quarter. Just over two and a half minutes played. Now here's Smart. He's guarded closely. Oh, and he got fouled on his way up. He'll head to the line to shoot two. The first free throw is good. And so he makes both from the line. They still have time to make this a game. But they really need to focus in because they let this game get away from them a little bit. Right around three minutes into this second half. From the high post. Williams grabs the board. The Celtics shooting efficiently. 50% so far. And rejected. Williams defending. Smart grabs the miss. The Celtics have gone just one of three in the second half. Pass to Brown. Off target at the rim. Shooting a low 29% since halftime. Goes back up. Oh, it's blocked. It deflects off the backboard. Chalk up two there. The Celtics with the lead. Outside, Williams. It's smart on the wing. And there's the drive. Here's the closer. Outside, Williams. Five to shoot. Woo! I just love that alley-oop slam, B.A. Defense disorganized. Defense pays. Going 0 for 2 from outside here in the third. Things just don't seem to be clicking for them offensively. Yeah, they really need to find a way to get back on track. All right, let's get a report from Allie. Thank you very much, Brian. Well, Jalen Brown has been vocal when it comes to social justice. He said, quote, people need to step up and use their platform. Keep conversations alive and show people that you care. Where your influence is biggest, try to leverage it. Brian, he knows his stuff. Stand up. Allie, thanks. Pritchard's checked in for Brogdon. 
And there's the lob. I would imagine it's nearly impossible to not get fired up after that play. Grant, check these guys out on the bench. Their reaction says it all. They are fired up. Outside, Williams. A minute 20 left to play in the third quarter. Great positioning on the putback. And the Celtics lead by 10. Just great positioning to get the rebound, then get it back up. A minute nine left in the third quarter. Shot clock at five. Goes up on the wing. And misses it off the right side of the rim. For Boston, they've gone three of seven here in this third quarter. Here's the closer. And he gets that one. And now a 12-point Celtic lead. It's a much smaller defender on him. He does the exact thing at the right moment. Goes straight to the rim. Williams defending. Oh, and there's the whistle on the shot. So two free throws for him coming up. Everyone in the building saw the obvious contact. And the first one at the line is good. He makes one or two that time. Here's the closer. He's got 21. And he got the whistle on the way up. So he'll be headed to the line for a pair. And so he's picked up his final foul. And he'll sit the rest of this one out. And he drops the first. That one misses. And here at the end of the third, it's a double-digit ball game. It's the Celtics. They lead by 12. Take a look at our State Farm assist of the game. You talk about painting a magnificent picture with that, Don. Just a great decision and a perfect delivery. Yeah, those are the kind of plays that you want to put on a canvas. Just beautiful basketball. And with the fourth quarter upon us, time is running out for this game to become competitive. Pass to Griffin. Down low. Here's the closer. And that one falls. Now 10 for 12 with that make. Yeah, that's the kind of passing that opens up the eyes to Blake Griffin's overall talent. And for the Celtics, Smart and White make up the backcourt. Blake Griffin out there with Jackson. And it's the closer in at the five. It's good on the putback. Great effort to turn the miss into two points. Yes, sir. Those are the hustle points. Smart right side. Pass to the closer. Takes one from 10 feet. From 13. Got a hand on it. Defended by Smart. There's the drive. And he dunks it down. Padding the stat sheet. Getting the board and the hoop all on one play. Yep, he's earning his coach's appreciation. Now here's Griffin. Now here's Smart. Tipped. Defended by Jackson. About a minute and a half into the fourth now. And with that one, the deficit trimmed to single digits. Now he's not the reason that they're trailing in this one. He's been on his game. It's a few of the other guys that need to pick it up. And Boston calls time here. They're just giving away a run right now. The question is, can they stop the tie? It's hard to say right now. At this point, I've seen the coaches run through two or three iterations of defense. Is there a fourth? I'm not sure. Some changes for Boston. Jason Tatum comes in for Griffin. 
And it's Jalen Brown in for Jackson. Let's go now to the sideline and catch up with Allie LaForce. Hey guys, the head coach for Boston had some instruction for his guys during the break. He spoke about their approach going forward. He believes that this is a mental battle. He told his players how we think about each possession will determine the outcome. Let's stay locked in. All right, appreciate it, Allie. 19-footer. Tatum can't hit. Gone three of five since this fourth quarter started. The three. The shot misses. And Boston going the other way now. They've led by as many as 14. Pass to Brown. Left side white. Stripped it away. And there's a whistle. He'll head to the line to shoot two. All right, well, a look at how the hustle game has been going for Boston. Their defense has been on point all game long. They're out hustling the shooters and swatting down plenty of shots. Well, something else that has stood out is their up-tempo offense. I mean, these guys have been on the track all game long. They're creating high-percentage looks getting out there on the fast break. And the Celtics making a change here. Brogdon's checked in. Pass to Tatum. Blocked! Counted and won! He'll have a chance at a three-point play. It goes on Malcolm Brogdon. And the free throw, no good. The Celtics have got one out of six shots to fall in this final quarter. Not ideal. Here's the closer. There's the block. To the middle. Laid it in with a nice touch off the window. This is anyone's game now, and they have the momentum. Yeah, this is not the team that we saw in the first quarter right now. Way more confident out there, and the cohesion of the team is impressive. And Boston calls time here. And things are always changing throughout a game. Teams have to adjust on the fly. And timeouts are a wonderful opportunity to just settle in and recollect the thoughts of your entire team. Not just the guys playing, but the entire team. Here's Brogdon. Smart outside. Here in the fourth quarter, just under two and a half gone by. Pass to the closer. Five on the clock. Trying to get back on track. Goes up again. And he'll draw the foul. He'll head to the line for two. off on the first so he can't get either to fall gone five of eight from the field so far in the fourth here's the great one inside Brown with the steal now the Celtics on the move and he was fouled while in the act of shooting, so he'll take two free throws. And look at Tatum getting aggressive inside, firing off his shot while drawing the foul. First free throw is good. And so Tatum nails both of them. He knows just how important these shots are, and he makes them count. It's a five-point game. Fires from the wing. That went a little long. Yeah, it's another just bad decision on a night full of those. His shot selection tonight has been questionable at best. A nice shot by Brown. Even when Brown's shooting quickly, he's not rushing. He takes his time with his release. The closer pulls it in. 
Got to appreciate the aggressive defense he brings. Well, it's about the defensive end, and that's what guys feed off. He gives the effort down there at all times. And it's blocked. 124 left in the fourth quarter. Back to Tatum. Smart outside. Clock at six. Offensive rebound, Celtics. Here's the closer. Blocked. Here's Brown. And it's going to be out of bounds. Boston will have another go. Just five on the clock. Here's Brogdon. Ooh, tough possession there. They stayed with it. Just couldn't make the shot. To the inside. And they'll get another chance. And he gets it back. Oh, three chances on that possession, but they just can't find a way to score. Brown passes to Tatum. Driving to the basket. Outside for Brogdon. The putback. Oh, he hangs in there and cashes in on the second chance points. And the Celtics lead by 10. And they came in here with some attitude, and they brought out their best play. Yeah, it looks like a veteran team tonight, getting out on the road, playing with assertiveness, confidence, fully in control for this win. Outside Tatum. So we see the Celtics get the win here. They played the villain tonight, and they played it well. <laughs> yes, they did. You know, you have two choices. You can either succumb to the hostility in this arena, or you can feed off of it and use it as motivation.